uh, hi everyone this is Matan so in this session I will solve two question uh, that is asked in part C so one question from statistical mechanics and uh, one question from nuclear physics so this question from statistical mechanics was very interesting so the question was also new type you can say so the system has energy En equal to Le naught Le naught was given that En is equal to 1 2 3 4 like something so you have to find the Helmholtz free energy in term of average energy this is very interesting so Helmholtz free energy in term of average energy so in order to solve this question you have to write the partition quickly first of all so here e1 will be e naught e2 will be 2 e naught and something so partition function canonical partition function was summation e to the power minus beta e i because this is non degenerate system argument so it will be e to the power minus beta e naught plus e to the power minus 2 beta e naught plus okay so so here if you solve this then it will be taking e to the power minus beta e common it will be 1 plus e to the power minus beta e so it will be e to the power minus beta e by 1 minus e to the power minus beta e this is the partition function okay so here the partition function you got partition function you got e to the power minus beta e over 1 minus e to the power minus beta e e naught okay so here you have to find the average energy like minus del by del beta of ln z so after find the average energy you will get average energy will be e naught by 1 by e to the power minus beta e naught this is the third average energy so here 1 minus minus beta 1 minus e to the power minus beta e will be e naught by e this is important so note this okay so now it is this portion you have you got e naught by e is equal to 1 minus e to the power minus beta e you have already your partition function as e to the power minus beta e naught by 1 minus e to the power minus beta e naught so write Helmholtz free energy that is minus n k b t ln of this z that is e to the power minus beta e by 1 minus e to the power minus beta e if you solve this then you will get minus n k b t whole into minus beta e minus ln of 1 minus e to the power beta e that is e naught by e e naught by e so okay so now if you further solve this step you will get en e naught this is e naught n e naught this will be plus this minus and this minus will be there so it will be plus kt ln e naught by e but in option there is no plus sign like plus sign is there so it will be e by e naught so you have to re rearrange this so you have to rearrange this expression in order to find the final expression most of the student or uh, some of the student also make a mistake in this step so here it will be n e naught minus kbt ln e by e naught so this option was in the answer so this will be the correct answer to the question and this question was asked in part c for five marks okay so one of the uh, other question is from nuclear physics and this is uh, for particle physics question the nuclear reaction was given like this p plus n was given p plus k plus x this is unknown particle so what will the variant number transition number and i3 component of this x so if you check the variant number conservation then proton variant number one neutron is one this is one plus one two so proton variant number one k plus variant number 0 so it will be variant number 1 so variant number of x will be 1 so what will the strangeness number strangeness number of proton 0 neutron also 0 proton 0 k plus of strangeness number as 1 so strangeness number of this x will be minus 1 okay so similarly if you find the i3 component uh, from this the option was clarified clearly because uh, no further option was there so 1 minus 1 and minus 1 was there so this will be the correct answer the question so this question part c for five marks okay so thank you so much thank you for uh, watching my video uh, in the next part i will have uh, more number of questions with me so stay tuned stay with my channel thank you so much